So the first thing I'm doing as always is prepping the eye area for the products that are to come and to do that I'm using my trusty Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I'm using a brush to apply the product today but you can use your fingers and I'm just lightly sweeping this over the lid area and then I'm blending up towards the brow bone. After I fill in my eyebrows I clean up the under portion with concealer so the brow bone area is already coated with a base so I don't need to add the paint pot there. Next then I'm setting everything in place with light dusting of my face powder. You could use a skin toned eyeshadow instead, that would work fine too. Today's palette of choice is the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade palette and the first eyeshadow I'm taking is Burkina. It's a matte warm brown shade and I'm firstly using this to map out the shape of my shadow. I'm going for an elongated shape today so I'm pulling this shadow from the outer corner of my eye angling it upwards and outwards towards the tail of my brow. Basically then I just use that as a guide so I blend my shadows in from that point and by doing this before eyeshadow application it just makes sure that the blend on both of my eyes is even. So what I've done now is just taken a little more of Burkina and I've applied it into my crease using a mixture of circular motions and back and forth sweeping motions to disperse the product and this shade is going to act as our transition colour. Next I'm going in with Ada which appears to be a deep reddish brown, however as you can see from the colour of the bristles on my brush it actually applies much lighter than it appears in the pan and that's something I've noticed and I actually think I mentioned it in my last tutorial featuring this palette. The shadows are beautiful and so pigmented but some do differ in colour slightly when applied. <laughs> Um, I'm just adding a couple of layers of this shadow now anyway, gradually building up the colour to make the blending process that little bit easier and I've taken this colour onto the outer third of the lid and across into the crease leaving that inner half of the lid bare. Next then I'm taking Zobo for no reason other than I just wanted to use this colour. It adds a nice brightness to the look I think though. But again, I'm beginning by lightly blending this colour on the outer portion of the lid and into the crease on the outer third of the eye. And then I'm gradually blending across into that crease. Next, I'm adding some depth and I wanted to keep with that kind of reddish theme that I have going on. So I'm taking a deep red toned brown and I'm using that to add depth. Mega Beaks Cherry Cola works perfectly for this purpose. So I'm lightly buffing the shade onto the outer portion of my eye and that's where I'm keeping it. Now to work on that bare part of the lid, so I'm firstly taking After Party from my Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette and I've just picked up some shadow, sprayed my brush with a little water and now I'm placing that colour on the lid. And I want to add another shadow afterwards so I'm only coating half of that space. Next then I'm taking Punk Rock and doing exactly the same thing, so picking up some eyeshadow, spraying my brush with water and then adding the colour onto the lid. And I've just added the water to make the metallic shade pop even more, but you could use a setting spray either, or just apply the shadow as is, whatever suits. To add a tiny bit more depth to look, I'm taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek. And because I only want to add a small amount of this shadow, I'm using a pencil brush instead of a blending brush to apply the product. The smaller the brush, naturally the more precise the application. So I've added this on the outer corner of my eye and now I'm sweeping it into the deepest part of my crease. For lashes, I've gone with the new Kiss ones that are exclusive to pennies and now I'm working on the lower lash line. So I'm beginning by smoking Burkina down along the lower lash line with a small bullet shaped brush and once I'm happy with how that looks then I'm taking Ada and doing exactly the same thing. So starting by smudging the shadow into the lashes and then blending it out. Next I'm taking a small bit of cherry cola and adding that down along there too and you can really buff these shades out or you can keep them a little closer to the lash line if you want tailor the look to suit you. So finally I'm adding a touch of black to deepen the look. Next then I'm lining the waterline and as usual I'm using the No Cosmetics black eyeliner and I'm not setting the eyeliner in place with shadow today because this one actually wears really well anyway. And then to finish off the look I'm adding a couple of coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a like and commenting below and I'll chat to you all soon.